Hi guys, welcome back. And today in this video, we're going to talk about the all new plugin feature of ChatGPT introduced like a couple of days before and how we can make use of these plugin to perform a complex drawing that we can do with MerryMade, of course, but we can use the same thing with the plugin option, which is available within ChatGPT. So I'm going to draw a diagram, something like this, as you can see over here. So this is something which I actually drawn using the OpenAI's ChatGPT by using a plugin, which is available in the ChatGPT. GPT itself. So all I have did here is I went to the chat GPT and I used the plugin option to perform this operation. But first of all, we need to enable the plugin which is available in beta version right now. So if you have the chat GPT plus version, you can just go to your profile and go and hit this setting and then select this beta feature where you have to turn on this plugin. Once you do that, you will now see there is going to be a plugins coming up over here within the chat GPT-4. So it's not available in chat GPT-3 at the moment. I mean, if you are a yeah, free version, you won't have the particular feature. But if you are using GPT-4 with the plus version, you do have this particular option. So you select this plugin and you see that there is going to be a no plugin enabled coming up over here. You got to go to the plugin store over here and then you will see there are going to be a bunch of plugins. And I've seen this plugin is keep increasing while this particular plugin launched uh, like a couple of days before it was like 60 plugin, but now it has increased all the way to like 80 plugin. I'm sure at the end of this year we'll have like more than 100,000 plugin in chat GPT for sure. And it's going to be a amazing hit as well because now with the power of these plugins in ChatGPT, we can ask a specific question and ChatGPT won't give you a random answer every time because plugin is going to be narrowing the knowledge of ChatGPT to give more wider information specific to that particular question that you're asking about. For example, the one that we are going to be talking about today is going to be drawing the architecture which I just showed you. So if I just go and select this show me plugin which is available all i have to do is just do the install operation and then you will see that i will have this particular plugin enabled over here and then i am going to ask a simple question i'm going to say uh, playwright testing tool architecture and once i do that you will see that this time chat gpt is going to perform these operation using the help of the plugin which is installed within this particular chat GPT. So that is what it is going to be doing basically. So you can see that now it is trying to do a MerryMade. Uh, so this is like MerryMade over here. As you can see, MerryMade is a famous tool which is going to help you to perform the drawing operation. And that's exactly what it is doing over here as well. So you can see that once it has created this MerryMade over here, it is now going to use this plugin to render this particular graph or the architecture that it has drawn and it's going to show that for me over here so you can see that it has now rendered this particular uh, architecture for me it says test case and then uses playwright and then it controls the browser and then it renders the web application uh, and then it performs those operations so you can see that playwright can also interact with the web application uh, and then it also gathers the result and then it is going to show those information for us over here and also showing me that what it is really using so basically it is telling me that this particular uh, plugin this is the home page of this particular plugin which is going to be responsible for you to draw that particular diagram and you can also see that it is giving me an information that you can edit this diagram online if you want to make any more changes for instance, if you just click this particular link there, it is going to open the MerryMade live editor directly. And then you can see that this diagram comes in over here. So you can go ahead and keep ch changing that if you really wanted to. For example, if you want to change after this result, then you need to include probably uh, the result and then export it to a uh, probably reports, something like that. So you could do that as well. So you can see that you can create this MerryMade diagram over here. Or you can also keep asking more questions to ChatGPT right now. Can you also please include different browser types? And once I do that, now it is going to go and modify based on the different browser type in the architecture. Because as you can see in this particular architecture, there is no browsers. I mean, the browser is very generic here, but I'm going to tell that can you also include for different browser types so now you can see that it is trying to change the diagram a bit or the architecture a bit to include different browser type for me which is awesome as well so as you can see in the merriment diagram over here it tells me that the playwright 
and then it controls the Chrome, Firefox, and Safari browser, and then it renders the web application, and it renders in the Firefox, Safari as well, like it performs the same operation for all of them. And then it interacts with the web application, and it also gathers a result and then checks it. You can see that this is how the whole diagram is gonna come up, which is awesome. So it is now telling me all this information over here. So what if I want to say that, can you also include the architecture to run these tests in the Selenium grid Docker container. So this time I have just asked a bit more question so that it can update the diagram. So let's see if that is going to even happen. I'm not very sure if that is going to happen, but let's see how it goes. And now you can see that it has rendered the architecture in such a way that it is going to include this Chrome, Firefox and Safari to be running inside the Selenium Docker container, which is awesome, right? So this is really cool i mean we can now keep drawing this particular architecture as much as we can pretty much like how we do a natural language interaction with the chat gpt and using these tools we can now start to empower our coding even further i mean all we have to do is now just copy this particular architecture and then go to github you can see that this is something which i actually did just recently like five hours before so if i just go hit this read me there all i have did is just put this three uh tick mark there and then put merry made because it is supported in github readme page by default so all you have to do is just put this syntax and then paste the the one that you have just copied from the chat gpt and then you can end the uh, the whole command or the code block using the three ticks over there once you do that it is then going to render it for you pretty much like how you saw the diagrams over there so you can see that this is how the rendering is going to happen so this is awesome so i actually asked a few more questions here and there to make this thing happen but yeah the output is actually going to be pretty much exactly like how we just saw over here so this is what is the new plugin which is going to help in chat gpt to perform a lot of different operation i'm sure there are going to be a lot more plugin going to be coming up pretty soon pretty much like a selenium plugin who knows or maybe playwright plugin which is going to do all these magical operation for us so stay tuned thank you